This is $5. And this is a $5 casserole. Also, I have a secret ingredient that's going to turn this casserole into a masterpiece. So the first one is our brown sugar overnight French toast. So we have 12 slices of Texas toast bread. That is a dollar. 10 eggs is $1.98. Our milk, we only need about two cups, so it comes to about 75 cents just for those two cups. Now our butter comes to about a dollar for just eight tablespoons. So in total, everything comes to about $4.73. So we're gonna take our Texas toast and cut them into about one inch cubes. So then you're gonna take your nine by 13 and spray it with nonstick cooking spray. And we're just gonna start putting in our bread cubes. Now we're gonna crack our 10 eggs and add in our two cups of milk into our bowl. Then to all the eggs, we're gonna add about two cups of our milk. I love making these $5 recipes, making them to breakfast recipes, because I feel like that is one of the cheapest recipes that you can make, so. All right, into our egg mixture, we're going to add two teaspoons of vanilla. And it's okay if you add a little bit more on the French toast. So we have a fourth cup of sugar and about two teaspoons of cinnamon. So we're gonna use some of that, but then we're gonna use, you guessed it, our new cinnamon churro seasoning, because I'm telling you, this stuff makes everything taste so good. So good. Okay, so we're gonna just, I'm gonna eyeball here, because you know that's how I roll. We're gonna go about two tablespoons full. Right. Now, usually I'll use like an, a big nine by 13 pan, but if I'm gonna take breakfast somewhere or to someone, I love using just like the, the tin foil pans, the aluminum pans. We're just gonna be very careful. It's not usually as big as my nine by 13. The goal is to just kind of get all the bread pieces moist, wet, covered in liquid. There we go. <laughs> then we're just gonna take this and set it aside because now we're gonna make like the brown sugar topping and I am excited for that. All right, so in a separate bowl, we're going to add about six ounces of butter. I'm actually gonna add eight ounces because I like this with a little more butter. And then in here I have a half cup of flour and a half cup of brown sugar that we're going to kind of like fold into this butter. So they say to use like a, what, a pastry cutter. I'm gonna be honest, I don't have a pastry cutter. So I'm just gonna use a fork and just smash my butter into this flour and brown sugar. And we just kind of want like a, like a pastry top, like topping, I guess. It will, it will make it so good as it cooks. So I'm assuming that most of you have brown sugar and flour in your pantry. I know that I have a ton, so I'm not counting that towards the $5 because I don't buy those things very often. Now we have like our cinnamon churro topping, which I am so excited for. Also, I forgot to mention, if you want some of the seasonings, I'll put them down below in the description for you, the link for them. There's not a ton of them. The first order is gonna be kind of small, so if you want it, grab them quick. Okay, we're just gonna do a, like a little crumble right on top of this French toast. And we're gonna stick it in the fridge. Let it sit there overnight. That will make it taste so good in the morning. Now, if you don't have time to sit it overnight, that's okay. You can actually cook it right now and it will still taste good. Okay, it's been sitting in the refrigerator for a little bit. We are going to cook this at 350 degrees for 35 to 40 minutes. You're gonna wanna watch it. You don't want it to burn. So let's stick it in the oven. Time to taste it. This looks so good. You like don't even need syrup on this thing. Mm, so good. Five out of five on that one. Definitely five out of five. Okay, Ensley, French toast bake. Thoughts? It's really hot. It's really hot. But it's really good. Yeah? What mm -hmm. do you rate? What do you rate this? Five out of five. Yes. <laughs> it is good for a five dollar <laughs> recipe, right? Yeah. Yes. The next recipe I'm making is our cheesy pizza pasta casserole. So we have our pizza sauce is $1.20. Our rotini is 92 cents. Our pepperoni is 2.72, but we're only gonna use half of it. So we're only gonna account for $1.36 of the pepperoni. And then cheese, I buy cheese in bulk. So for about a cup and a half, it comes to $1.50. Then we have a lot of seasoning and stuff. I'm assuming everyone has seasonings in their pantry, so we're not gonna count that. All right, so we're gonna take three cups of the rotini and just put it into the bottom of the Instant Pot. You all know I love cooking noodles in my Instant Pot. 
Okay, so when you cook in your Instant Pot, you want to pour water until it just reaches the very top of the noodle. Perfect. Okay, you just want to make sure most noodles are covered because if you don't, you'll have crunchy noodles and no one wants crunchy noodles. Okay, we're going to go ahead and put the lid on. Okay, we're going to go to pressure cook and we're just going to cook noodles for four minutes because that's all you need to cook for. So then on this Instant Pot, I need to push start. Once I start it, I can just walk away. So we are going to turn it to medium high heat and we're gonna just add a little seasoning to our pizza sauce. Now, if you want to spend more than $5, this is the time where you add like ground beef or something like that. Add my seasonings, I'll put a link in the description of all the seasonings I have in here. There's quite a bit because we want it to taste good. Then we'll just mix it in here, mostly until it's heated through. We are just waiting for our pasta to finish cooking. Now to spice up this recipe a little bit more, we're using some of our new seasoning. This is our peppercorn ranch, holy cow. I love ranch in all things, especially in my pizza, so we're just gonna add some seasonings. It's gonna be good. I'm so excited. Three, two, one. <laughs> so with pasta, it gets foamy really easily, so I like to press the release, let it release until it starts to come out a little bit more. Then I'll just let it relax a little bit, and then I'll push it again, like just to finish getting all the pressure out. Okay, once all the pressure is released, you can open your lid very easily. Pasta is all done. Okay, I'm gonna take my handy dandy drainer. Strainer, drainer. It's like a mixture of both. All right, we're ready. We're gonna move the pasta over to the pizza sauce, and we're just gonna dump it in. Oh, guys, I can smell the ranch in there. That smells so good. into our 9 by 13 pan. So we have about a cup and a half of mozzarella cheese. It is cheaper if you buy the blocks and shred it yourself, but I found that if you buy these bags in bulk, they're actually pretty, pretty cheap and I use them for many recipes. And then we're only gonna use half of the container of pepperoni, which will give you plenty. So now it is time to bake your lovely pizza pasta. We're gonna bake it at 350 degrees for about 30 to 40 minutes. Really, everything is pretty warm. You just want the cheese melted and just ooey gooey, right? Pizza pasta, done. Well, let's try this. I already know I'm gonna love it because I mean, it's cheese and sauce and pepperoni and it's gonna be good. Here we go. That is good. I love the pizza sauce with it. That, I even like that better than the spaghetti sauce that we've used before, but pizza sauce with this, delicious. I'm also ranking this a five out of five. I don't do that often for my $5 dinners, but this is good. The next recipe I'm making is biscuits and gravy casserole. So we have Walmart brand biscuits. These are 84 cents. This is our ground sausage. Now this is usually about 288. You try and get the cheapest one that you possibly can find. And the last ingredient you're gonna need is about two and a half cups of milk, which comes to about 75 cents. And we're gonna spray our pan with nonstick cooking spray. Now, this recipe says that you want to make it in a 9x9 pan, but we're actually going to do it in a 9x13 just because I'm going to give it to someone and then it'll be perfect, perfect breakfast for them later. Okay, so we're going to take our biscuits and we're going to cut them into fourths. I did wash these. Cut them right into fourths and then we're going to lay them right into the pan. Now, these biscuits, biscuits are going to grow a little bit, so it's okay if they're spread out. So we're going to bake these at about 400 degrees for 10 minutes. We're gonna turn our stove top on to about medium high heat and we're gonna cook up the sausage. Now, if you guys have been watching for a little bit, you know that I love my chop and stir. After a few minutes, after that's been cooking, we're gonna add two and a half cups of milk. Now, I know I need a bigger skillet. This is not, ooh, it's gonna be close. This is gonna be tight. That's okay. I love biscuits and gravy with a lot of pepper. Pepper is like my favorite thing in this recipe, so. Okay, we're just gonna stir this until it comes to almost a boil. It's gonna thicken up, so you just have to give it a minute. They look good. Any of you else have this problem where you think you can fit it into a smaller pan, 
but when really you should be using a bigger one. Let me know. <laughs> Comment down below for me. And we're just going to pour the gravy right on top of the biscuits here. All right, so I'm cutting up the biscuits again into fourths, and then I'm just kind of laying them where the other biscuits are not. We're gonna bake this for 400 degrees for about 20 minutes. We're gonna watch it. If the biscuits start getting really brown, we're just gonna cover it with foil, but we're gonna just see how this goes. This is done. This is nice and cooked, and you guys, biscuits and gravy is like the thing that I order whenever I go to restaurants, so I'm so excited for this. All right, here we go. Mm. All right, this might be my favorite video of $5 dinners. All three recipes have been amazing. Okay, if you want more easy casserole recipes, I have some good ones for you. These are the ones my mom used to make. All right, guys, I'll see you next time. Bye.